Dear children, we are continuing the third part of integers of class 7th. Today we are going to discuss the properties of multiplication of integers. Properties of multiplication of integers. First property is closure property for multiplication. The product of two integers is also an integer. If 7 is an integer and 5 is an integer, then 7 5 is a 35. 35 is also an integer. Second property is commutative property for multiplication. What is commutative property for multiplication? If A and B are both are integers, then A multiply B is equal to B multiply A. For example, 5 is an integer and 7 is an integer. 5 7 is a 35 and 7 into 5 is equal to also 35. It means both the products are same. So, A into B is equal to B into A is the cubic is the commutative property for multiplication. Next property is associative law for multiplication. What is associative law for multiplication? If A, B, C are integers, then product of A and B multiply C is equal to A multiply B multiply C. Let us take three integers. 3 multiply minus 5 multiply minus 8 is equal to 3 multiply minus 5 and multiply minus 8. In that case, first case, 3 multiply minus 5 minus 15 minus 15 into minus 8. In the second case, 3 into minus 5 into minus 8 minus 5 into minus 8. 5 is a 40 and minus minus plus 3 multiply 40. In both the cases, our answer is 120. Next property is distributive law of multiplication over addition. What is this property? If A, B, C are integers, then A multiply B plus C is equal to A multiply B plus A multiply C. For example, we have taken 3 integers minus 26, 72 and 28. Minus 26 into 72 plus minus 26 into 28. Then what happens uh, by, by using this property? Minus 26 we have taken out as A. Minus 26 into 72 plus 28 is equal to minus 26 into 100 is equal to minus 26 hundred. What we, what we have taken common here, minus 26. Minus 26 is A. B is 72. C is 28. Minus 26 into 72 plus 28. Minus 26 into 100 is equal to minus 2600 is our answer. Existence of multiplicative identity. 1 is called the multiplicative identity for integers. If a is an integer, a multiply 1 is equal to 1 multiply a is equal to a. 5 ones are 5, 6 ones are 6. We always get the number itself. Next property is existence of multiplicative inverse. a multiply 1 upon a is equal to 1. For any integer a, what will be the multiplicative inverse of a? 1 upon a. And what we are getting uh, as their product? 1. What will be the multiplicative inverse of 5? 1 upon 5. In that case, 5 multiply 1 upon 5 is equal to 1. What is the property of 0? Property of 0 for any integer a, a multiply 0 is equal to 0 multiply a, that is, that will be equal to 0. We have done that in this junior classes also. 5 zeros are 0, 10 zeros are 0. Now we will solve few examples of from RS Agarwal book, exercise 1b. Question number 1 is multiply minus 28 by minus 1. Minus 28 multiply minus 1. 28 ones are 28. And minus minus plus. 12th part. 25 by minus 11. 25 multiply minus 11. Here is sign plus and minus. First we will just take their products. That will be equal to 275. And what, what about their sign? Plus and minus. When we are multiplying the sign plus and minus, what will be the resultant sign? Minus. So our answer is minus 275. Question number 2. Find the product. 6 part. Minus 7 multiply minus 3 multiply 4. Minus 7 into minus 3. 7 3 is a 21. 21 4 is a 84 is our answer. Question number 3. Fourth part minus 30 into minus 20 into minus 5. First we have taken the product of these two numbers minus 30 and minus 20. 30, 20 is 600 and minus minus plus. 600 into minus 5 is equal to minus 3000. 
Eighth part is when we are multiplying minus 1 171 times. Product of odd number of negative integer is negative. Minus 1 to the power minus 171. That will be always equal to a negative number. Product of odd number of negative integer is negative. Question number 6. Simplify minus 16 into minus 8 plus minus 4 into minus 8. This question we will do by distributive law of multiplication over addition. What we have taken out? Minus 8 as common. Minus 8 into minus 16 plus minus 4. I have already discussed the distributive law uh, in the properties of multiplication of integer. Minus 8 into minus 16 plus minus 4. Minus 16 plus minus minus. Minus 16 and minus 4. When we are adding them, what we get? Minus 20. Minus 8 into minus 20. 28 is a 160. And minus minus plus. So one answer is 160. We are we have also have to solve one word problem. That is question number 8. In question number 8, what is what's the question? I'm reading the question for you. In a class test. Containing 10 questions, question number 8. In a class test containing 10 questions, 5 marks are awarded for every correct answer and minus 2 marks are awarded for every incorrect answer and 0 for each question not attempted. First part, I have solved. First part for you. First part is total questions is, total questions, how many questions are there? 10. Marks awarded for one correct answer, 5. Marks awarded for 4 correct answer, 4 fives are 20. Marks awarded for 1 incorrect answer, minus 2. Marks awarded for 6 incorrect answer, minus 2 multiply 6. By unitary method only, minus 2 multiply 6 is equal to minus 12. What we have to find out? Ravi's total score. What will be the Ravi's total score? 20 minus 12, that is 8. 8 is your answer. There are two more parts in this question that you are going to solve, that you are going to try yourself. Children, I am showing you the, uh, I am showing you the more questions so that you can practice more questions at home also. Have a look. That's all for the today's session students. We will meet in the next session. Take care.